we have time. Dennis and Watson. Thanks, Bill. Good morning, everybody. Um, Tim, once again, wherever Tim is, thank you for your steadfastness on this. This is our fifth year, and I think I've participated every year. It's good to be back with you. Um, and I, I'm going to talk for a few minutes just a little bit more about an update on what the Allegheny Conference has and is planning to do on this issue, and we do have some, some news there. Um, the context for this is important, and this is a bit of a reminder of things I said before, but uh, the, the work that our group is doing uh, in, in this area has two contexts. One is practical, one is aspirational. The practical, which is embodied in our future of the work in the region of Pittsburgh that we released a year ago, Inflection Point, basically says the following. We don't have enough people to fill our replacement job needs, much less our growth job needs. 290,000 baby boomers will retire in this region in the next 10 years. That's 25% of the existing workforce. We conservatively estimate we'll need another 50,000 new people. That's 340,000 people in known demand. And if every kid in our K through 12 system graduates, gets the right skills, and stays here, we're still 80,000 short. And that's obviously a ridiculous assumption. So what's the solution to that from a practical perspective? Uh, we have a little acronym we use to talk about it. It's called ERA, Elevate, Retain, and Attract. And we believe that it's an all hand, hands on deck solution to address that. Elevate is about identifying people in the unemployment ranks or who are highly underemployed, uh, which Stephanie does in particular. Identifying those who can, with some training, get a certificate, get themselves a job with benefits, and get themselves a job where there's a future. The trades are one of those. So an elevation strategy is very important. The second strategy is retain. This mainly focuses on college students. We graduate 40,000 kids a year from our 61 institutions of higher learning in the 10 counties of southwestern Pennsylvania. The good news is we're keeping more of them than ever before. We're keeping half, 20,000. 20,000 are leaving. Uh, that's the second piece of the strategy. The third piece of the strategy is to the extent we can't elevate or, or retain, we have to go outside of the region to bring people back in. And that's the attraction piece. And the conference and its partners, including the two individuals that I'm on this stage with, are actively involved in elements of all three of that. The second part of the context is aspirational. And the point here is that while the Pittsburgh region has a great story to tell right now, our brand has probably never been better in terms of attracting businesses and attraction, attracting people, that story is not understood or, or, or happening for all people in all places. You can go to East Liberty and see an incredible transformation, throw a stone to Homewood or Wilkinsburg and you get a completely different picture. And it's a particularly bad picture for the African American community in Pittsburgh. Whether you measure it by jobs, health, violence, crime, it's all bad and it's a lot worse than any other group in Pittsburgh and it's a lot worse than African American groups in other major metros. And that's something that our organization just isn't willing to live with in spite of the successes that are occurring economically here. And so, thank you. Our board of directors, which is over 50 CEOs of the largest organizations in town, uh, one, of, one of its members, Grant Oliphant from the Heinz Endowments, uh, took on the responsibility to lead what we're now calling our Economic Inclusion Initiative. Uh, that that uh, group was put together last December. 16 other CEOs from the conference board volunteered to participate on that group. Uh, we spent four months listening. We met with literally hundreds of people from the African American community of various shapes and sizes and so forth, uh, getting input. Um, we made a presentation back to our board at our May board meeting. Grant made a presentation. Um, there was unanimous consent from our board to proceed. And what that entailed is, number one, focusing on three pieces, employment, contracting, and connections. Uh, employment, contracting, connections, things that we felt we could have an impact on. Um, it, there were elements going forward including a, a, a blessing of continuing the efforts that we already had going on in this area, which include partnerships on elevation strategies, 
Uh, it includes investments in some of these targeted communities by our businesses, including places like Wilkinsburg, Homewood, and Mount Oliver. It includes a continued hard work on our regional transportation alliance work, a subset of which is the importance of the last mile and how do you get people to public transit, number one, that can't get there from a half a mile or a mile away. And number two, we have all these great education programs and jobs, how do we get them there? And there's, there's various pieces of transportation that get in the way, not the least of which is we just heard is a driver's license. And then finally, the internal work that we've been doing. A few years ago, we implemented a Rooney role at the Allegheny Conference. Small staff, 50, but we have a Rooney rule. Uh, a year ago, we got rid of the felony box in our application process. Um, uh, and a year ago at this session, I made a public commitment that we would take the diversity of our staff from where it was then 10% to 20% by the end of 17. I'm happy to say that as of today, we're at 16%. So we've made progress. Uh, uh, and I think things like the Rooney rule uh, have helped that, and obviously we're trying to be a, a model and, and, a, and a representative of these of these words in our deeds. Uh, finally, uh, uh, Catherine Delockery, Bill, and I, amongst others on our team that are working on this, uh, made a commitment that we would work out the details of the other new things that we would do by our October board meeting. Uh, we're looking at models in places like Cincinnati, Minneapolis, Boston, a number of other places that have done pieces of this successfully. But our goal is to implement, in addition to things we're already doing, something that will positively affect employment, positively affect contracting and supplier networks, and positively affect connections, social and otherwise, for the African American community here in Pittsburgh. Um, I will tell you that I'm in my ninth year in this job. I've never seen an issue discussed at length like this at our board meeting ever before. I've never seen a group as solidly committed to something like this as ever before. And that leads me to conclude that we are gonna make progress on this uh, in our particular part of the, uh, of the issue. So more to come and look forward to reporting again next year. Thank you.